Choosing the right size tire for your 2021 Ford Bronco. Now, Bob Burns is a gentleman that works with Bronco Nation. And um, he's an experienced off-roader. And as you begin to get into the off-road world, there seems to be a lot of talk about tires. Now, tire size, what fits, what doesn't. Who makes the best tires? What tires should I choose for my 2021 Ford Bronco? The off-road forum sites that discuss tires will make your head spin. So much information, so many choices, so many opinions. How do you narrow down the right size tire for you? And that's a tough question. And uh, maybe easy to answer. Now the key to the question starts with what tire works best for you and how you intend to use your Bronco. Initially, uh, we've seen that the new Ford Bronco offers at least six different tire choices, depending on the model chosen. Uh, You can spend hours reviewing all the uh, ladders and numbers that are found on the typical tire sidewall. But for now, let's focus just on understanding on how to decode all that. Now, the Bronco is like a P255 70R16 in an overall Tire height being 30 inches for the Bronco, basically. And the Big Ben, which is a P255 75 R17, 32 inches. And the Black Diamond, which is, uh, we'll click to that real quick. And the Black Diamond, which is LT265 70 R17, which is 32 inches. Then we have the Otter Banks, P255 70 R18, 32 inches. We have the Badlands. LT 285 70R17, 33 inches. And the Sasquatch, of course, 35. LT standing for light truck, 315, and I believe that's 31.5 millimeters. Um, This is um, the sidewall being 70% of what this is, uh, uh, 31.5 millimeters, and R17. And um, let's get into some details. Now, what does these ladders mean? Again, like I said earlier, the uh, like the ladder P and LT. Now, the tire sizes are in the metric form, both P metric and LT metric sizing. The P is a tire size, which tells you the tire design for the passenger car use. That's why you see P here. And that's what you usually want when you, um, if you're gonna be using it just be, to be cruising around and you're not going to be using it for light truck use as far as this right here, LT light truck, which um, seems more Bronco-like. Now, the P and the LT design- designations uh, tell us how the tire would perform based on its design. Now, there are uh, pluses and minuses to both depending on your primary use of your uh, rig. P designated tires are designed to carry a bit less weight or load than an LT, which is light truck. Unless you are towing and carrying heavy loads, a P tire may be perfect for you if you're not doing that. Now, it would generally ride a bit better than an LT tire, and it would usually be quieter and possibly have a longer tread life, as a tread pattern uh, may be less ag- aggressive and contribute to better fuel economy uh, from its design and materials. So with the LT tire, is all about is light truck. It's designed to work in a light truck environment, designed to carry heavier loads and would be recommended to run with a higher air pressure to carry those loads. Um, Stiffer uh, composition, composition, uh, stiffer sidewalls, uh, deeper tread uh, compared to the uh, P rated counterpart. And it will also hold up tough, you know, on off-road use a bit better, Uh, carry heavier loads better, but it'll give up some ride comfort and uh, fuel economy, and it's gonna be a a little bit noisier. So when we get to this, um, again, uh, this is basically what the designation means. Now the R refers to the radio construction of the tire versus a bias uh, ply tire type. And a 17 refers to the size of the wheel or the rim that the tire is made for but measured in inches. 
so the Madrigini Imperial Dimension on the tire side wall. So basically, when you look at this, I mean, when you do some math, like, for example, like I said earlier, the 315, this being 70%, the sidewall being 70% of that. And the R actually just being a radio, it's a radio tire, which is, which is nice for ride comfort. And uh, bigger is not always better. Now the engineers at uh, Ford worked hard to tune the suspension to provide a comfortable ride and a safe, predictable handling. And uh, tires can affect both of these in different ways. Bigger tires offer larger footprint to generally provide better grip, but the bigger also brings with it the weight penalty that the suspension has to control. So there, so it tends to be a, a balance. And believe it or not, a tire can be so big in relation to the vehicle weight that it actually provides less grip. Uh, larger tires also make the braking system work harder. Being heavier makes it harder to stop. So there's certain things you have to think about when you're thinking about your tire. All tires are great for off-road and ground clearance, but they are heavier. The LT tires may provide a bit of a rougher ride. It may be a you know a bit noisier, and they're going to wear a lot faster. So you, that's some things you have to think about. This is a automotive reviews. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, like, share, and subscribe, and have an awesome, awesome day. If you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more interesting videos.